Uh, just a quick update. We're heading our way back down the creek and um, just a couple of hundred meters below where we saw the bull on the scrub this morning, um, we found him again. He was out in the creek bed this time. Um, we jumped inside the bush edge, went down the other side opposite him and uh, man, I'm shaking. <laughs> um, we had to quickly go downstream to get um, get the wind right, what little he was. Anyway, long story short, he travelled down the creek a lot faster than we anticipated and he um, ended up getting the jump on us a wee bit. Um, so yeah, Aaron got a shot at about 40 metres across the creek and looks like it's, it's hit him low, unfortunately, but um, definitely got him. So it's about seven o'clock now, we've got only a couple hours light left, we're going to give it an hour and have a look at the blood trail and if it's good we might keep chasing it up, if not we'll come back in the morning. I think coming back in the morning might be the better option actually, considering what sort of hit it was. But man he was a big bull from what we could see from his horns, just a lone old fella. Uh, exciting times, good stuff. Another situation update. We um, popped over the creek just to see if we could find if there was any blood where he entered the bush. And there was. And we followed it up, just a few drips here and there. Aaron sort of went on ahead and saw a wee game trail with some fresh scuff marks on it. We popped up onto this little terrace. And um, I'll let him tell the story. So I came up on this wee terrace here. I'm terrible at tracking. Matt's a tracker. I just, I've got the patience. So you I tend to go as advanced party, yeah, eh? Yeah, Matt, Matt follows the blood <laughs> and I just go ahead hoping. And this time I came up on this, as Matt said, there's a wee track with scuff marks. I came up on it and the bull was, whether he was bedded or not, I don't know, but he was standing just in that fern side on looking at me at 40 metres. So I put another one into him. Um, I don't know how good it was. It wasn't a great shot, so I've got to apologise for that, but I'm shaking. I was fucking, the old buck fever's got me, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, and so... Um, I can understand that. Poor bugger. But he uh, he crashed across his face, he had a hill crash. But interestingly, as he was running, he sort of angled a wee bit downhill. Um, the last I heard was up in, some, up in some scrub up here, so crash, crash, and then it stopped. So whether he broke out of it, whether he's up there, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, got lucky, I guess. Yeah. I mean, and he stood. Yeah, he stood long enough for you to knock and yeah, put an arrow yeah, on. Yeah, whether, right. whether he was sore. Yeah. Um, you know, I didn't deserve another chance, but I got one. And yeah, I just hope I didn't fluff it. So we'll see. But man, I was shaking. His horns, eh? That's yeah. <laughs> big. All that stood out to me was I just came up and was like, holy. His horns are big. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty awesome. He's a not beautiful animal, so I just hope I could do him justice. Um, yeah, oh, well. it's bow hunting, I guess, but um, man, adrenaline, eh? It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. You see this massive surge and this big dump. It's like, oof. Yeah. So, yeah, so. How are we? Came up the creek this morning to start trying to track Aaron's bull. I won't give the details now, but we found him after a <laughs> hands and knees blood trailing for specks. Just incredible relief. I've shot a few nannies, but I've always wanted a bull, and uh, oh man, it's been like eight long years, eh, mate? Yeah. What a day! We both got a my if, first one. Got your first, and I got my first bull on the same day. We found him a day later, but we we did it. Oh man, wouldn't and oh, 
take my head off to Matt. I mean, like, he's like an old bloodhound. I would never have... But we're pulling blood specks of blood all the way through this crap. Last night we thought he might have gone up onto the top terrace. There's a terrace up behind us. But luckily we found um, my second arrow this morning. And we've got a blood trail from there. We've been following, or pretty much Matt's been following specs since then. Um, I'll just try and keep out of his way. <laughs> and uh, we came to this spot here, and there's a good rub just there on a tree that Tara will be rubbing, obviously. And I just said to Matt, there's a blowfly. And at the same time, he turned around to me and just did the old... I looked over, and I'm too scared to look, to be honest. I haven't had a decent look at him. We haven't been over to him yet, nah. but... Uh, Bloody hell, he looks big. <laughs> so great way. It's just, yeah. The emotional stuff, to be honest. It's why we hunt, eh? Yeah. Especially, you know, eight odd years. We, we covered a few miles, and I've always wanted a bull, you know. It's just, and if he's good, I'm going to get him mounted. Sorry, Connie, but it's my wife. <laughs> but uh, if he's. Yeah, it's just something I've always wanted and to get him with a bow and with my good mate. It's just... Whew, can't beat it. In my hands, I hold the ashes In my veins, black pitch runs In my chest, fire catches In my way, setting sun Dark clouds get around me to the west, the soul's bound. I will go on head free. There's a light yet to be found. So by it, I got my way. Last pale light in the west. Last pale light in the west. Just another quick um, trip update. We um, got back from finding Aaron's bull um, yesterday. So today we had a nice big sleep in and just spent the day around camp head skinning and um, cleaning up the skulls and generally kicking around camp. And we now just popped out for an evening, quick evening hunt on a couple of clearings not far from camp that's the view 
from the clearing I'm sitting on. Beautiful backdrop. Gotta love New Zealand. Camp. Nice little spot. We fire going. What are you doing there, Tui? Looking up, me. Tar back state. Tar back state. How's it looking? What have you made yourself? What have you got there? She's a homemade kebab. Oh my god! Is it good? <laughs> yeah! Tar back state. I'm quite interested in your wee, uh, wee cooking pole. You have to try that. Good morning everyone. I think we're on day five or something like that now. After our leisurely day at camp yesterday. We've just come up. Uh, a new side creek on the Landsborough and um, it was a, a much smaller one and it was all closed in it wasn't very open at all no slips no bluffs and pretty little sign so um, we got to the 900 meter mark and sidled round back into the creek we hunted on the first day but this time we managed to get above the big waterfall that stopped us last time so we're only about 100 uh, vertical metres from what looks like a nice uh, open basin, so we might be in the promised land, hopefully. There's old Aaron just about filling the bottles for a brew. What do you reckon? Awesome. Awesome? Yeah. That's what we do today. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Yep, good stuff. And we expect to have a bruise, it's even better. <laughs> Situation update. After a lot of blood, sweat and tears, through some pretty gnarly and steep scrub, we finally got up to the point we were looking to get to. It's about 1100 metres, but it's right in the middle of a very large basin. So it's a perfect vantage point to glass the whole basin. We've, uh, we've only seen a few nannies and kids at the moment. Um, we're guessing that everything's parked up for the day. The scrub up here is eaten out like nothing else. And the grass golf course green link. Yeah, looks like a good spot. We're going to park up here for the rest of the day, I think. Okie dokie, situation update. It's getting we, serious, um, eh, mate? We're getting serious now. Like I say, we got up to this knob in the middle of this basin and it's about half past five now and there's tar starting to appear everywhere. They're all nannies and kids. We've seen maybe two young bulls. Mm. But they're scattered all over this basin, in the scrub, out in the open, in the creeks. So we made the decision to rightly or wrongly stay the night up here. We didn't bring any camping gear so <laughs> we'll see how we go. It's stupid but we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Wise or silly, we'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs>